Hi, I'm Sandra. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure three different methods of single sign-on authentication using the mobile SDK. The first authentication method requires a username and password. The second authentication method automatically authenticates with client credentials. The third authentication method allows users to use their existing social media accounts to log in. In order to use username and password authentication, you will need a valid username and password for authentication to your gateway server and also a JSON configuration with a scope of MSSO. Now we'll start with a sample app I created in Android Studio, which is already configured with the mobile SDK. I will open Android Studio and select the project, Mass Sample. Click on the Assets directory and double-click to open the JSON configuration. Verify that the JSON configuration includes a scope of MSSO. Open the source code directory and double click to open the main activity. After the mass.start call in the onCreate method, I will include an authentication callback. This authentication callback will use the mass login fragment from the mass UI components provided in the mobile SDK. So, when the gateway server prompts for authentication, this mobile application will pop up a login dialog to allow me to enter my username and password. For this demo, we can ignore the one-time password authentication callback. Now, I will add a call to massuser.login to initiate the login. I could put the login credentials here on the massuser.login method call to automatically log in, but I will depend on the login dialog I added above in order to enter them. If there is already a valid user session, massuser.login will not trigger another authentication request. When I am successfully logged in, this unsuccess callback will be initiated. In this callback, I will add a log statement when specifying the device identifier. I will also add a method call where I will retrieve flight information from a protected endpoint on my gateway server. Here is the URL for my protected endpoint where I can retrieve the flight information. I will create a request using mass request and then use mass.invoke to invoke the request. When the flight data is retrieved from the protected endpoint requiring authentication, I will log the response and create a show message method which will display the content in a message dialog. I will now start the application in an emulator. I will use the default Android device Nexus 5. When the login dialog appears, I will enter my username and password. And click login. The flight information retrieved from the protected endpoint is visible. I have now successfully logged in using the mobile SDK. The single sign-on credentials have been saved. I will exit and close the application. When I restart the application, my credentials are reused. I am able to retrieve the flight list without entering my username and password. Now I will start over with another authentication method. Since the mobile SDK maintains the single sign-on registration, we must completely remove all associated applications in order to register using another authentication method. In the emulator, stop the application and move its icon to the trash. For the client credentials authentication method, you will need a JSON configuration with the scope of MSSO underscore client underscore register. Verify that this MSSO client register scope is present in the JSON configuration. Verify that the client secret is present. Now in the main activity, I must set the grant flow to client credentials.
I will add this before the mass.start call. After the mass.start call, I don't need the authentication listener. I will add a call to get flight list right away since I don't need to enter a username or password for registration. Now I'll start the application in an emulator. Now when I start the application, I will not need to enter a username and password in order to retrieve the flight list. Since my single sign-on credentials have been saved, I must now remove the application to start over again. For social login authentication, you will need a username and password from the social media provider you plan to use. Your JSON configuration must have a client ID, secret, and redirect URI, which are registered with that social media provider, and include a scope of OpenID and profile. I plan to use my Google credentials, so I have registered mine with the Google API console. Review your JSON configuration. Verify that the client ID, secret, and redirect URI are registered with the social media provider you plan to use. Verify that the scope includes OpenID and profile. I'll return to the main activity. I will use the authentication listener, login dialog, and mass.login I used for username and password authentication. I will remove the call to set the grant flow to client credentials. I will get the flight list from the protected endpoint in the mass.login on success callback. Start the application in the application will prompt for user credentials. I will select Google. I will enter my username. And my password. I will grant access. The flight data has been retrieved and is visible. I am now logged into my server with social media credentials. I hope you now feel confident and ready to use authentication with the mobile SDK. Thanks for watching and see you next time.